What is up everybody, Almost Evil 33 here again, back with another Medal of Honor gameplay commentary for you guys. And in this footage, I will be on DeWoggle Camp, and I'm going to be using the MP7 submachine gun with red dot sight, stock barrel, and extra magazine equipped. And this is a typical DeWoggle Camp rampage session for me. I wish I recorded the match before this one, because it was a little bit better than this match. And this one was actually really good, and I know you guys are going to enjoy it. There is a cruise missile, almost two. And I know you guys are going to like this. It's typical Almost Evil 33 gameplay, so I hope you guys like it. Anyway, I want to actually talk about something other than the gameplay. It involves Medal of Honor, though. So, I know you guys have seen and heard about the huge Battlefield 3 patch that's going to be coming out soon. It was scheduled to come out in February, but obviously it's not. And now it's delayed until at least March, but there's really no ETA on it. But anyway, I was thinking, as soon as I heard about that, I was thinking... What would I do if I had the chance to patch Medal of Honor? And I know that it'd be foolish to think that EA would even consider patching this game, or DICE. It'd be foolish to think that they would ever even think about turning back and looking at this and fixing it. But I was just thinking about it, and what would I do if I had the chance to patch it? And that's the question I'm asking today. So I'm just going to go through a couple things that I would definitely patch if I had the opportunity to fix this game up a little bit. So number one, the first thing I would do is make all of the score limits and, and defensive score chain point values exactly the same on all three platforms. So in other words, the UAV will give everybody 30 points. On the Xbox, it only gives 25. And match ammo will give everybody 40. On the Xbox, it gives you 25. So I think it, it'll just have a universal point value for defensives. And... The scores at the end of the game will all be the same. So sector control will end at 2600 for all three platforms. On Xbox, it's only 1800, and team assault will be 1400 instead of Xbox is 1200. So those are kind of Xbox changes more than anything else. But the defensive score chain problem actually applies to PlayStation 3 as well. So if you're gonna cut the score chains, at least have them on the same on all three platforms because it's kind of unfair. So that's the first thing I would change. Second of all. I would definitely tweak the spawns a little bit. I know that you guys might think that I'm a big fan of spawn trapping in this game, and I am, because it's an easy way to get cruise missiles most of the time. That's basically how you get cruise missiles. And you could say it's a dirty tactic or whatever. And I think it's really fun. And, I mean, it's horrible for the other team, but at the same time, whoever's got the spawn trap going, they deserved it because they were able to get these high score chains. Unless they were sniping in the back, but that's a whole nother story. But what I was thinking was, tweak the spawns a little bit, just so that, like, let's say we're on Dewago Camp. You know how they spawn in the road, and then they spawn on either side of the map? How about you have half the team spawn in the road, and half the team spawn on one side of the map? That would keep the spawn traps to a little bit of a minimal level, I guess you can say. And that's just one thing that I would definitely change. Because I think it encourages spawn trapping if they all spawn in one tiny little area. So that's the second thing I would change. And here's a cruise missile for you guys. Hope you enjoy this one. Smash right in the middle of the map. Beautiful. Anyway, back to my discussion here. I would also want to uh, balance a couple of the weapons. Now, the M16 and the AK-47 and the AK-74U and the M4 are all perfect exactly where they are, if you ask me. They all have decent hit detection and damage, and I think they're all pretty balanced. But the unlockable assault rifles are terrible in this game. They're just horrendous, and everybody knows that. The P90 is horrible, the G3 is horrible, although it's not an assault rifle, it's a battle rifle, but... Um, also, the F2000 isn't horrible, but it's still not as good as the M16 or AK-47, so there's really no reason to use it. I would balance these weapons so that there is a reason to use them. Nobody really uses those three weapons. I've seen some people use the P90 and some use the F2000. Literally nobody uses the G3. I see so few people using that because it's so bad. So those I would definitely patch to make them at least like able to compete with the other guns. And right here I called in this airstrike. I know that it was a bit of a mistake. I thought they were spawning back there because I saw two of them and I only ended up getting one kill so that was kind of sad. So right here I was just trying to get my last cruise and I had to get 100 points so it was a pretty big, uh, pretty big point limit to cover and I didn't end up doing it but the game was almost over anyway, so it didn't really matter, but I was just thinking, what would you guys patch? Tell me in the comments. 
because I'm really interested to hear, if you guys were able to patch this game, what would you patch? Would you want to tweak the spawns? Would you want to tweak the guns? And, I mean, obviously, we'd all want to add more maps and more attachments and more guns to the game. I know that. I would try to release some sort of update for that, too, or an expansion pack or something. So, I mean, that doesn't really count because we'd all like that. But what would you guys like to actually tweak in the game itself right now? That's the question I'm asking you. So leave a comment and let me know. I'll be very interested to read them. and I'm going to reply to all of them. So definitely leave me a comment and tell me what you guys think. Because I know a lot of you guys love this game. And I do too. It's my favorite game of all time. And I was just thinking, because of the big Battlefield 3 patch, this game was the first thing that came to my mind. What would I do if I had the chance to patch this game? So, what are my uh, other patch ideas here? Well, first of all, I want to have a little bit of more soldier specialization. Like, I'd want to add a couple different camos and stuff. But more importantly, I'd want to have the option to play as, like, when you get to Tier 1, I like the original Rifleman better than the guy with the beard. I mean, beards are awesome, but I actually like Rangers better. I think Rangers are awesome, so I'd really want to play as that. The Spec Ops guy, I like the Tier 1 better, and I like the Tier 1 Sniper a lot better. But, personally, I like Rangers better for Assault. I just think they're cooler. So that's what I would want to stay as. But that's just opinionated. I think you should have a choice for that. It's not too big of a deal, though. And right here we get stuck trying to skip maps and stuff. And I really hate when this happens. It's just annoying. Like you get to stare at this like picture of a burning Jeep waiting for the map to change. Kind of frustrating. Anyways, that those are my opinions on what I would patch in Medal of Honor. I want to hear what you guys have to say. So definitely let me know, like I said before. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel way more than you might think. So like this video, favorite this video, and comment on this video if you enjoyed it and other than that I went 73 and 5 so very hefty KD and I dropped a cruise missile almost two. so hope you guys enjoyed this video I will talk to you guys in my next video and it will be another cruise missile gameplay so I hope you guys are ready to enjoy that I'll catch you guys later peace out guys